Tigers were taking on Milton Keynes in their very first game of five straight home games on the trot. Sporting new limited edition winter strip are supplied by Print Me UK. This will be the last time that some of the Tiger players will be here for a while as they'll be making a trip over with Great Britain to Germany. Monkeen's got off to the best start though in the first period. The Tigers straight on the back foot with a goal coming just 32 seconds into the game. As much as Tigers tried, Milton Keynes really owned the first period, getting much better chances and shots. The puck stopping dead in front of the goal in certain times, but Milton Keynes not being able to get that tap in. Tigers really tried to find their feet, but all of the best opportunities were coming down to the Milton Keynes Lightning. And it could have been a much worse scoreline than it was. But at the end of the first period, it was just 1-0. The second period got underway. Tigers really found the form. They're starting to get themselves much better chances. But despite even this little shove that happened to Metton, the shot was blocked. Something that Yannick wished he was able to block was his high stick from Milton Keynes. So that very nearly got into a bit of a fight, but refs soon broke that up. Thankfully for the Tigers, though, he was able to get up and carry on. And was okay. Tigers' misfortunes continued with this one of many shots that hit the post. But as unlucky as Tigers were in their end, Malkin's equally so, not being able to get the rebound here. But in the end, luck did favour the Milton Keynes Lightning as they got their second goal. This blasted shot from the blue line getting through a heap of bodies, making its way into the back of the net. This seemed to be the way that Milton Keynes were going, trying to get it out on point, which is just how they scored their third goal with this rocket of a shot. And it could have been even worse for the Tigers. But thankfully, Adam Brittle missing out on this shot. Look at the bounce, didn't seem to be going with the Tigers though as well, when they were getting their chances, which were coming to them. Scott McKenzie rattling the post here. And scrappy at time. Not Keynes were able to do the job and kept the Tigers out after these flurry of shots. At the end of the second period, it was 3-0 to the visitors. <laughs> Tigers came back from being three goals down the night before against Bases Don't Bison and retained their 100% record in a shootout. And starting out with the third. They gave much of the better shots and chances. And through Scott McKenzie, were able to get their first goal of the night. Restoring faith for the fans that another great comeback was on the cards. As Tigers tried to push up a bit more, a few more of the chances were starting to come, then Milton Keynes away with them getting a bit more of a chance to really take the lead and bury the game. And despite several efforts, the tide finally turned and they got their fourth goal of the night. 
sealing the victory for them and their four point weekend. Final score Telford Tigers 1, Milton Keynes Lightning 4. Fast start, but I think you know, Manchester well, State and Milton Keynes. Well, they, well, fast start, they, they were one up within two or three minutes, so fast start for them. Um, we, we, we battled on in the first, we lost same coach during the. the uh, first ten minutes or first five minutes, he had a puck in the face. So we were down to three D. So that took a lot of energy out of the guys at the back. Um, we were short of a forward as well. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with the effort of, of the guys tonight. We we battled hard, and you you got to look across to the shots on goal throughout the course of the evening and on the game sheets, 43 to 43. Um, and we gave them a couple of shots from the top, and it's hard for Declan to see through traffic sometimes. And we've got to, you know, wingers are going to be tighter to the point. And Dave have got to do a better job of boxing out so that he can see the puck. Um, but you know, we've just put 43 shots on Milton Keynes, so we should be pretty pleased with our, uh, our general play. Um, just perhaps disappointed that we didn't put pucks in the net. So you're happy that you managed to stay with Milton Keynes right up to the, pretty much the end of the game, really, wasn't Yeah, it? I mean, the, the fourth goal comes because obviously we're trying to, we're trying to force a goal. Um, we were all coming up ice together, and I'm trying to jump into the play a little bit. And, the problem is we don't put the pucks into the right places and we make a bad play at the blue line and they get behind us because we're trying to push so hard for, for a goal just to, to put us closer and give up a breakaway and it's frustrating because you, everybody's doing the right things and it only takes one guy to, to not do the right thing and you know it, it hurts you at the back. I'm just looking ahead, ahead to, uh, to next week, what are you looking forward to with the uh, break in the 20s? Am I looking forward to the gym? Yeah, of course I am. Uh, massive opportunity. Um, really looking forward to, to going over to, to Germany. Um, we're in a very, very tough group. I think the GB20s have played such a tough group before. Um, but playing with the guys last week and spending a bit of time with them over the last few weeks, you know, we've got a lot of confidence in the team. We've got some very good young players. Um, and until we really get there, you don't really know how you're gonna how you're gonna get on. Um, but if we go out and we play with uh, you know the lion's crest on our chest and we and we wear it with pride and we play with a lot of heart, you know, and that's how the GB teams have played when I've played with them. Um, you never know what happens, and you might sort of, might just shake it up a little bit. And overall, just this weekend, um, two great performances, just the two points. Though. Yeah, I mean. You know what, going into the third period at 5-2 and we come out with a, with a great victory last night. Um, we came up from two behind and then we, we come, come, come back in the third period and the guys really dug in and perhaps we got a little bit of luck. Um, they felt the puck had gone across the line in overtime, maybe it did, but we've had so much bad luck this year. It was about time we had a little bit of a, bit of a bounce and uh, the great guys did a great job on the shootout again. So um, can't fault the three shooters we've got on there and they do a fantastic job. But you know, all in all, two points across the weekend, we're going to be pretty pleased. Uh, yeah, I thought it was, you know, it was a difficult game to get into um, coming off the back of a tough game last night. But um, the boys ground it out and, and worked hard, and oh, we, we, you know, we came up with the points. Um, but you know, Telford are a team that always give us a hard time. We've got a lot of young, hard-working guys, and they'll, they'll go for 60 minutes as proved by them getting the goal in the third period there. But lucky enough, we hung on to the end and scored another one to make it a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, overall, um, good performance. We're happy with that. Uh, it was a four-point weekend for us, so um, yeah, good weekend all round. Okay, and was it said to the the game wasn't really killed off until just right at the end? Uh, no, not really. You know, we're a team that's set up to, to win close games and, and low-scoring games. Um, that's how we're, we're set up. Good, strong team defence and, and um, you know a few good goal scorers, but we're ultimately a, a tight team that's going to win games by the odd goal. So we're happy with that performance, really, and that's what we set out to do.